never leave me. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if... If an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I... I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Still watch me. Oh. oh! Got it. Oh! Good job. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight. Pull the skin away, quickly. Should come right off. Oh my! <laughs> it, it worked! 
That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Do something, please! Oh, thank God. You see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my... My husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. here girl now you're sure I can't take you to a train station you just lost your husband it wouldn't be giving up no thank you but even this is better than the prospect of having to deal with my ghastly family right now let alone his see nothing's that easy Cal and I were both born into money wanting for nothing yet somehow wanting for everything <laughs> Oh, what a pathetic sob story it is. You must think I'm such a spoiled brat. Not at all. Well, maybe just a little. No, I, I came here with Cal, and I'm staying here with him. All right, then. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Okay, girl. 